Hello and welcome to the Handyman Stan YouTube channel. I am Stan and today we're going to be working on something a little different. This guy behind me is my RV. This is a Riverside Retro 157. It's a really cool trailer and I'm going to walk you around it and uh, kind of give you some ideas of what I've done with it. Um, basically, I'm going to sell it. But to sell it, I need to take some of the cool stuff that I've put on it off. So let's take a look around it and I'll show you a little more. So some of the fun things about this RV is that it's tiny and it's cute. <laughs> it is about 18 feet from bumper to hitch and um, it's got all kinds of really cool amenities. Uh, the stickers back here, uh, these are the states that we've brought this one to, but that one came with it. I've got a backup camera. Some of that stuff needs to come off. It's by a company called Riverside RVs. Uh, it's their Whitewater series, and that's their retros. But yeah, it's just such a cute little trailer. It's uh, 157, which I've been led to believe that that means that it's 15 feet by 7 feet on the inside. But uh, let's go ahead inside and take a look around. Okay, so it's kind of cramped in here just because of camera and everything. But it's nice because this is a tiny unit. Now, in the back, what we've got right now is it's set up with a queen size bed, which is really nice. And I've got a really nice mattress on it. You'll notice that the floors are a checkerboard floors. This is kind of set up like a 50s diner. So as you come in the door here, uh, some of the things that I've set up is I've got a solar setup and um, I also have added some on off switches for a few things here. But uh, there is a fairly good sized closet. It does take like baby hangers in here. And then down below, there are four drawers, and they are good sized drawers. This is our snack drawer <laughs> here. Um, so that's nice. I've added quite a few hooks, which is always a good thing. This switch up here is to shut off power to the solar panel up on top. We have removed, we're in California, and so here in California, we don't tend to need things like uh, the, let me see if I've got power. I may not have power. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, let me pan down here and show you this. I have a cutoff switch and this shows my battery charge level and that is underneath the refrigerator. A microwave goes in here and I just put this door on here and didn't even finish it off really just to create a cabinet. The microwave will go back in. Um, then this is our stereo here. That came with the unit. But I was talking about the air conditioner. The We took the air conditioner off because we're in California and you really don't need AC here in California. So I added this Max Air fan. Unfortunately, I'm taking this off. This is a cool fan. It's got a button for the lights. It has a rain sensor. It's got a remote so I can turn it on. It opens up and it will start up here and either blow air in or out. And then this will actually close and the air will go through the side vents here in this shroud. So that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately for anybody that might be buying this, I'm keeping this. But I'm going to put the air conditioner back on and so there will be AC there was that. I did add a flat screen TV which is over here by the bed and there are some charge ports and electrical plugs back here. And then turning back around to the front of the RV we've got a two burner stove on this side, two drawers and a cabinet, a sink, uh, two well sink and a small little uh, 
uh, storage cabinet. Turn the camera. There we go. St small little storage cabinet there. I did cut a hole in this piece of the storage cabinet so it reaches out to the external storage because there's doors outside that you can load from the outside. So I like it because we load a case of water in there and then it's not taking up room in here and we can reach through, grab a bottle of water, stick it in the fridge if we need to. The other thing that this has is a bathroom. And this is a pretty cool little bathroom. This is a wet bathroom is what it's called. And so there is a shower head in here. Um, we did put a flashlight in there and this is actually a mirror. Um, some people think it's a TV, but it's a mirror. And uh, there is a fan in here as well. And um, yeah, it's just a really useful little bathroom. The only thing that I did not like about the bathroom itself is down here on the floor. Is if you're sitting at any kind of an angle, water pools down there in the tub basin of the shower. And if you go to the bathroom, your feet are in water. The other thing is my legs aren't long enough to touch the bottom of the basin while I'm on the turlet. And so I built this little rack here, which works wonderfully. This will stay with the trailer if the person would like it. And um, basically it allows you to wipe it down with a towel or something. And then if water pulls underneath it, it pulls underneath it. It's no big deal. So that's just kind of a quick walkthrough of what I've got here uh, in this trailer. And so, yeah, I, um, I've really enjoyed this trailer. I bought it when I was single. I am now uh, dating someone and this is kind of small. This is our whole reason for getting rid of this is you only have about five, maybe eight square feet of walking space here. So we've put a, a stool in the corner over there and one person will sit on that stool and get ready while the other person sits on the bed and gets ready. But now we also have a dog that's bouncing around between us and on the bed and, and it's just getting really tight for us. So we're in the process of buying something else. But to do so, we're going to get rid of this. And when we get rid of this, there's stuff on here that I want to keep. And so the next few videos that I'm going to be doing, the next series here of videos, <laughs> is despecializing the 157. So uh, taking this RV and putting it as much back to stock as I feel is appropriate. Um, and then putting it out there on the market here soon. If you're interested in it, as is, let me know. Um, or if you're interested in it, uh, there's some things that, like I said, we will be taking out, like the fan, because we want this fan. And I will put the air conditioner back on and put that back together. The other thing that's really nice is this is a dining room booth. It's a four-seater wraparound booth like you would have at Johnny Rockets. This place really looks like a Johnny Rockets, except for the chrome metal strips when it's set up properly. Um, and at that point, when I start taking things out, I am going to take the mattress out because this is a really nice, expensive mattress that we bought. It's a very thick 8-inch foam mattress. It's beautiful. We love it. It's going in our new RV. But... I have the booth seats that I took out within a month, maybe two months of having the RV. And so that was maybe three weekends of using them. So they didn't see much use at all. They're stored in boxes, in bags, uh, in dry in my garage, and they're in great shape. So when those go back in, this is going to look sharp again. So anyhow, that's where we're at. Um, I've been feeling great. And so now it's just kind of time to take that energy and start taking some of the stuff off of this that needs to come off um, and kind of go from there. So 
stick with me and let's do some of this. So I took a minute and kind of looked around at what I want to do first. The first thing that I want to do is I, I'm going to take this cabinet out um, and put the microwave back in. Get that all squared away. I do have some surround sound speakers that are just like 3M'd to the top of the uh, trailer and take some of that off. This drawer uh, likes to slide open while we're traveling and I've only got this 3M solution right here and uh, that needs to come off and I probably I don't know if, if I sell it to somebody I know I'll come up with a better solution for this I have a better idea that I was gonna do if I'm gonna just sell it that's on them I guess <laughs> um, but yeah this door likes to pop open um, I did upgrade the thermostat here I'm gonna leave that alone uh, there's a few other little 3M things that are around the trailer here that I'm going to take off. So, yeah. So, this is the first thing, so I'm going to get to it. Here we go. Now, I know I said I was just going to put the microwave back in here, but then I got unscrewing things. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's other things. And while it's in here, I'm gonna actually take a shot in there. There's some extra wires back in there, but um, a lot of RV owners don't get to see what kind of cabling is where in their RV. And so this gets kind of useful here for some RVers. Um, so up back there is the HDMI uh, coming in that goes down to the stereo the yellow cable in the back goes up to what should be the uh, air conditioning unit the white cable going into the ceiling uh, that's antenna um, trying to see what else I can see back there there's some power cables um, the red and black that go up into the roof. I'm actually not sure what that is. And then most of the other power to the rest of the trailer goes up through that side there. And then comes down into this box here. Um, the HDMI came out on this side and then I, I had a long HDMI cable so I actually just shoved it back through the wall here and it's just sitting there and this mess of cables here is I had extra speakers for a surround sound system and so I took those speakers and I put two up here and uh, the other two are just kind of sitting at the back of the bed right there and I don't think I used my center channel and so these connections here I did a a fair to midland job on for these. I also ran this cable here to the cargo compartment underneath to give a secondary set of speakers outside, but um, I, I don't like how they're run through the trailer. I think they're get, they get in the way of packing the trailer. I could tack them up and leave them. I might just do that is do a better tacking job of them but um, so in that way this person has C speakers for outside the internal speakers let's see this is an A speaker that's part of my surround sound system so the internal speakers are the B speakers which is that one there and also this one here by the front door so those are the B speakers so this system allows for A, B, and C speakers, and you could turn on you know, any one of them in that kind of an order. So I'm gonna remove the surround sound stuff, but. So there we go, with that, I've got it pretty well cleaned up in here. Uh, and so the microwave can go back in nicely. 
and just gotta screw this back into place and then start taking down some speakers. So, coming along good. All right, so got that done, got the microwave back in place and the uh, radio back in place. I think the next thing that I wanna work on is over here. Uh, what I've got going down here is this is my um, control panel. Behind this, what I actually did is I found a little control board that connects to Wi-Fi and I can turn the lights on and off through my app, through an app on my phone or even through Google. Um, it's really complicated. <laughs> well, maybe not really complicated, but it's hard to explain to a new person how to use it and pair it and also, it hasn't been able to pair in a while, and that's behind this box. This on-off switch right now is set to turn that on and off, but um, one of the things that I wanted to do is actually have a switch to shut off power um, going from this box, the, the uh, MPPT box, to the battery. I do have a battery kill switch over there, but I wanted to have another on off switch. And so I'm going to remap this to be that on off switch so it can stay and then um, kind of go from there. I may actually um, eventually replace it with a correct flip switch. Um, we'll see. But this switch is here and I need to get that control board out anyways. So. Might as well wire it that way right now. So that's kind of what I'm up to now. Yep, changed my mind already. Um, the thing that I realized is I upgraded the cables that go to the battery. I'm using thicker cables, which I should because of the run between here and where the battery is, I actually went to the back of the trailer, across, down the other side, and then to the batteries, which are on the tongue in front. And so I used uh, a bigger cable, so in that way there's less power loss. Um, and that cable's not gonna fit on here. I do have the brake on the other side over there as well. And so I, it's okay. Um, it's just, you know, I don't have a need for this plug. And I can't figure out another reason to have, not a plug, a switch. I can't figure out another reason to have a switch here. So I'm just going to pull it out. Um, and then I'll get one of these that um, just is, is a cover. Um, is my thought, uh, just a filler. And so if somebody wants to do something with it at a later point, they can, but um, for now, there won't be anything there. And so I can do that, put this back on, and I got the control board off. See, it's a little confusing. It's kind of like, um, like defusing a bomb, I guess you'd say. But... <laughs> A bomb that turns on lights and things so that's gonna go in another trailer um, the plan is to buy a new trailer uh, we're getting another similar company or same company similar model just bigger we need more space um, but yeah this this girl's been good to me but uh, it's time for somebody else to enjoy her yeah. so Okay, so I got that done, got that out, and button that back up, um, and it's starting to get kind of late, so I think I'm going to call it an evening, and uh, yeah, probably have dinner or something. <laughs> All right, edit some videos. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you like this new format. Um, I'm not going to focus so much on individual projects, just more of what is Handyman Stan up to, what is life for me now. And um, 
you're still welcome to reach out to me if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, I still do handyman work. <laughs> um, comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe helps me out. You know, um, I'd like to get out there and share my thoughts with uh, YouTube in general. So give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.